Welcome back to Powerhouse. Who doesn't love a fireplace? It can make your home so warm and cozy, but you know the efficiencies vary greatly from fireplace to fireplace. We're here at the Colony Heating and Air Conditioning Showroom, where we'll be speaking with PJ Kalb about gas fireplaces as well as wood-burning fireplaces, and we'll figure out what kind is right for you. Hey, PJ. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. You too. We're talking fireplaces today, and why don't you tell us what the fundamental options are for people considering installing a fireplace in their home? Uh, with, with wood fireplaces, we have about three options. We have basic wood burners that have doors that open and close, uh, not extremely efficient, probably 20-25% efficient, but for the person that wants to crackle in the pop and wants to just enjoy that fire, or maybe weekend fire, that product probably works just fine for them. Uh, we also have what we have here, a mid-efficiency unit. This unit's going to have some uh, uh, heat tubes in the top of it. Our third option would be what we call a high-efficiency wood fireplace. In this particular unit, has a gasketed door, so it's completely sealed. This is going to take its combustion air from outside. Uh, drawback to some of these is it's a little smaller area for you putting your wood and stuff in, but we're so much more efficient. Uh, you don't need that much wood in it. It produces quite a bit of heat. A lot safer than the traditional fireplace because with a gasketed door and sealed door, we can load this thing up in the morning, we can go to work, and we can leave this unattended. It's, it's designed to, a lot of these are sold for people that want that extra BTU or maybe offset their uh, gas bills. Great. Okay, now let's venture into the gas showroom, shall Sounds we? Sounds great. Okay. Megan, this happens to be a direct vent gas fireplace. And the big advantage of this over an insert would be we can give the customer a little bigger viewing area. In a lot of applications with this, we'll have a customer that doesn't want that small of a viewing area. So we can come in and we can remove their existing fireplace. If there's tile around it, we can remove the tile and it gives a little more access to us to be able to get the old unit out. If it happens to be brick or something, we virtually go in there and cut that unit out, take the chimney out, and then we can install a new fireplace depending on the size of the opening. Uh, this particular one is uh, about 65% efficient. It's going to have tempered glass. If you look at that from an angle, you can see it kind of mirrors. Tempered glass does not allow heat to radiate through it as fast as ceramic glass. There's two types of glass, uh, tempered and ceramic. Most units that are under 30,000 BTUs have tempered glass on them and are a little less efficient. If you step back a little bit, this particular unit here has ceramic glass. The advantage of ceramic glass... It's a lot warmer. It is. It allows the heat to radiate through it. Most of these units are going to be a higher BTU and they're going to be more efficient. Great. Now let's talk about what it costs to operate any of these options um, just on a daily basis. Most, most options with, uh, uh, when we talk gas log, you're going to pay a little more for that because you've got a little more BTU. But if we had a direct vent fireplace, you're going to be, I would say, 75 cents to a little over a dollar an hour to operate these two appliances. A gas log, you might be up around $1.25, $1.30 an hour on natural gas. Now I want to talk about some of these great things that are around your showroom. Let's talk about the latest and greatest and what's new. Follow me. Megan, this unit here happens to be a linear unit. Oh, this is great. Uh, they also make it in a see-through, which is, has been real popular to use it as a room divider. Uh, it's still direct vents, just like the other fireplaces, uh, other direct vent fireplaces we talked about. But uh, there's different trim and stuff that can go around the door. There's different face plates you can get in glass or metal or you can put uh, your own finished product around it like we did here. Really clean and contemporary look too, and I imagine it can go anywhere on the wall. Anywhere on the wall, and uh, there's different, uh, you can get logs for this, you can get glass for this, or you can get stones for this. So there's a lot of different options for the consumer. Thanks so much, PJ. Stay with us, more powerhouse ahead.